What's going on YouTube? This is JabberTech and today we're going to take a look at some more of my favorite watch faces for your Garmin devices. I'll leave all these links down in my video description as well as some links for some watch bands and whatnot. If you're interested in checking them out, just go ahead and look at my video description. The first one that we're going to take a look at is called Instinct Tactical and I really like it not only for the fact that I can write JabberTech on the top of my watch face, but I also like it because it's a clean design, it's a very simple design. I don't always want a ton of information on my wrist if I'm just going out for dinner. I really just want to know the basics and that's why I like this watch face. Taking a look at the watch face, you can see at the top you have your connection status. Again, you can write whatever you want underneath that. You also have your battery life indicator right over there. And what I like about it as well, you can also show how many days left you have for your battery life, or you can have the percentage, you can have either or, or just one. You have your date in this cool little circle on the right side here. You also have your time right in the center with your seconds. Underneath the time is where you see your step count. You can see your heart rate. You can see how many miles you've walked. You can also see your current altitude. And I just like it because again, it's a simple design. It's a very clean design and I just like the way it looks personally. Taking a look at the settings here, you can also change the colors. You can change a bunch of different things with this watch face. I actually took away that Bluetooth icon. Just play around with this watch face and customize it and make it your own. Let's take a look at this watch face because I really like it. It gives you a ton of information, but it's really designed in a very nice way. This one is called Digital for Tactics D. I just like how everything's laid out and you can change just about everything of this watch face. So if you want to change a detail, if you want to change a data point, you can go ahead and do so. I'll show you the app in just a second because there's literally pages upon pages of customization, but this is the default setting and I've just tweaked a couple little things. You see your altitude, you see your day, your full day is right at the top here with sunrise and sunset. How many hours left until sunset as well. Your time of course is the main function. You want to always be able to tell the time right away with these digital watch faces. See your training effect, your calories burned, how many floors you've climbed, your heart rate, your steps, if you have an alarm on or off, how many messages are waiting on your phone, and then you see your history as well as a move bar and then your battery percentage right down there. These are the settings for this watch face and when I just scroll up, look how many different ways you can go ahead and customize this watch face. It's absolutely ridiculous, so if you want to really spend time, you can go ahead and do so. But if you just go ahead and tweak some of the little settings, I think you'll be happy with Digital for Tactics D. Let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you have a favorite, let me know down there as well. I like to check out new watch faces. The next one that we're going to take a look at is called Sports CLS. And I like it because it's a nice digital watch face. It really is well presented. You get a lot of information and it's very stylish. I just like the way everything is presented. You see your histogram, which is forefront and center. It just means you get a lot of emphasis on whether or not you're hitting your goals. And I like that, but if we look at the top, you see that you have your battery, you also have your distance, you have how many calories you've burned for the day, you have your alarm, and that'll be illuminated if you do have an alarm. You also have your heart rate right over there, and then again, this is your histogram with your step and your actual step goal right next to it. And once you hit that goal, you get a little medal, which I think is pretty cool. Under your medal, you'll see how many messages you have waiting on your phone as well as your flights climbed right over there. And then again, you will be able to see your time right down there. You'll see the month and the day, and I just think it's a very nice, very well laid out watch face. Going into the settings page, you can change a lot of different things. You can change the theme. Right now I have a red theme, but maybe I want to match green with my watch band. Or you can change the color individually for just about everything right over there. Now that we've changed the color to green, you can see it matches the watch band quite nicely. And again, this one is called Sports CLS. The next one we're going to take a look at is called TSW04 and there's just a lot of information presented but I think it's all well laid out in a very nice fashion with of course emphasis on the time right in the middle. When you look at your watch you want to know what the time is right away without having any guesswork about where to look or whatnot. But let's take a look at all the information we're showing here. On the top is where you'll see your sunrise, your sunset as well as your moon phase. Underneath the sunset, sunrise and moon data. You also have some more data about the weather, so you get your wind speed, you also get the direction of the wind, your humidity, and then your barometric pressure. Under that, you'll get to see the name of the city that you're in with your bar pressure graph right over there, and then your actual temperature with a little icon of what the weather is going to be for that day. Next to that is your full date, April 10th, and it's a Friday. And again, your time is right in the middle of this watch face with some connection status and some messages status right over there. So you can see if you have an alarm, any messages, and if you're connected to Bluetooth or not. 
Underneath that, you can see your histograph for your actual progress during the week, and you can change that for the day as well. So if you want to know if you've hit your targets for the day or week, you can go ahead and change that graph. You also get your current heart rate right underneath the time there with your minimum and maximum right next to it. Underneath that, you can see your active minutes, your calories burned, and your current altitude. Again, there's your steps, how many miles, and whatever your step goal is for this day with a nice little graph right underneath it showing you how far you have to go in order to complete your goal for the day. And of course, there's your battery level right on the bottom there. And if you go into the settings for this watch face, you get a lot of different settings as well. Just to show you guys the settings, you can change some settings here if you want to as well. But I think it's just a very nice, very clean looking watch face. Again, this one is TSW04. Let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite out of these ones I've showed you. And if you have another favorite that I should take a look at, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.